Governor Brown is putting an end to a controversial gun policy that was approved by the Kern High School District. The governor has signed a bill outlawing guns on school campuses. Eyewitness News reporter Lexi Wilson tells us how this new law affects local campuses. Lexi. That's right, Assembly Bill 424 was written in response to the action of five school districts, including the Kern High School District. Last year, they allowed guns on campus if you had a concealed carry permit and permission. But now school administrators will not have a say. We'll follow state law, whether we like it or not. Governor Brown signed a new law which overturns Kern High School District's decision to allow guns in schools. We spent two years on the gun issue in Kern County. Last year, the district let non-employees with a concealed carry permit to carry guns on campus. Then, in November, they voted 3-2 to two to allow teachers and staff with permits to bring guns in the classroom, causing debate as both sides spoke out. What happens to a teacher who doesn't train regularly? From what we've heard from law enforcement, they don't want this. Teachers don't want this. This is Jeff Flores, a district board member. He says his district's decision to allow teachers to have guns in the classroom probably prompted state action. I don't know how guns in the classroom raise test scores. I don't know how guns in the classroom closes the achievement gap in Kern County. Other board members disagree. Mike Williams, board member, posted this on Facebook saying, This bill makes our students and employees less safe and, in my opinion, violates the Second Amendment of the U.S. Constitution. 23 non-employees were authorized to bring firearms on campus. Administrative regulations had not yet been set for teachers. But now, that doesn't matter. You know, there's pros and cons to guns on campus, but I think this is a chance to pause, focus on our priorities, and start focusing on education. The change won't take effect until January 2018. Reporting live in studio, Lexi Wilson, Eyewitness News.